Hello everybody and welcome back for more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. In the last episode we confronted Riku and so we finally somehow got back in business for Donald and Goofy and also the Keyblade for that matter. Decided that uh, Riku's an ass and they decided fuck Riku and went back to Sora. In this episode we are going to uh, do some more puzzles uh, now that we've uh, finally uh, you know got everything back to us. So we're, uh, we're, we're finally back in the full form once and for all. So, uh, last time we, uh, we went through doing this, uh, book puzzle just to get some, uh, goodies and had to uh, go through that. So, for this one, uh, there's another one we have to do. Uh, we have to, uh, go and put some pieces together, kind of like a puzzle. Like, there's this one door that has this, um, heartless emblem that's, uh, on there. And so what we gotta do is that we have to find the pieces of those and then, uh, put them together, like, you know, just a little puzzle. Uh, first one we had to smash those pots. <laughs> yeah, just, uh, bring out our, uh, inner, uh, inner Zelda over there and just, uh, hit those, uh, smash those pots there. Unfortunately, there's no rupees or anything like that or no, uh, or no hearts, no bombs, arrows, or anything. Uh, this one we have to light those candles with our fire magic and there's another one that's, uh, in the middle of this, uh, this flame there. Oh, is there, like, uh, some sort of, a uh, some sort of ritual going on? <laughs> And I think for the next one, uh, that, that was a, uh, that, that was possible. Oh, hello, there's a bullhead there. Well, let's uh, give this one a, a red push. I think this is the last red journey that we're gonna, that we're gonna do, which is of course a required a journey. And so there's another piece there. Uh, I think there's about like, uh, yeah, four pieces. Yeah, there's only four pieces of those that, that we have to find. Oh, mighty one, prove your strength by moving me. So this one we had, we had to uh, push this, uh, put this uh, statue over with uh, whatever this. Uh, demonic being is supposed to be. And there's a chest. So let's uh, go down there and uh, nab that uh, and the chest is there. And so we'll go ahead and uh, pick up those um, let's see, the stone is etched with a thunderbolt. Oh, thunderbolt you say? Well, let's just uh, cast this right here. And what that does is that it, um, it brings those uh, platforms down and so we can actually, uh, and they start moving around so we can actually use those to uh, that's a little shortcut to uh, get up to the uh, the upper floor of this um, of this room. So yeah, it's basically all these uh, emerald pieces that we have to get, or all the uh, heartless emerald pieces. So let's open this up, and there's another one that's uh, that's there as well. And then all I gotta do is just uh, pick up the last two. There's uh, one that's in the center, and one of the found that um, that uh, this statue just appeared. I was like, Ugh, gross. Tastes like Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because uh, well, Sora has already uh, met with the Nintendo characters, and there's a surprise reveal of uh, Smash Brothers, which I. Never saw it coming, but you know it's uh, it, it's actually a real um, real great uh, presentation, especially for the last uh, fighter. Yeah, I mean, I guess you can say that this is also in celebration of uh, Sora finally making it to um, or Sora making it to Smash Brothers, kind of like with uh, Banjo Kazooie. But yeah, it's uh, kind of like that. So just put all the pieces together, and so the puzzle is complete, and so the door has opened. But first, a cutscene. Why? It was mine. Know this. The heart that is strong and true shall win the Keyblade. What? You're saying my heart's weaker than his? For that instant it was. However, you can become stronger. You showed no fear in stepping through the door to darkness. It held no terror for you. Plunge deeper into the darkness, and your heart will grow even stronger. What should I do? It's really quite simple. Open yourself to the darkness. That is all. Let your heart, your being, become darkness itself. Oh shit, we haven't seen this guy in a long time since uh, the very beginning of this game. Like since uh, Destiny Islands before that got before that got fucking new. Yeah, if you remember him? Yeah, totally forgot about him. It said, um, oh yeah, by the way, after you open the door, then uh, the Heartless will start spawning in this room. Which I'm actually gonna go ahead and, uh, well, of course I'm just gonna do all that off screen just to get all the Heartless here, you know, just for the sake of getting some um, experience. So, um, 
Anyway, yeah, remember him? Yeah, I totally forgot about that. Forgot that he existed. Because uh, yeah, we haven't really seen him since um, since the beginning of the game back on Destiny Island. So uh, after that, we just never saw him again. He just kind of like, yeah, if you guys thought that thought that was gonna be a big left alligator moment, well, think again, because like, uh, well, I guess uh, it turns out he actually did have some relevance. And yeah, another thing to remember is that uh, he has this uh, he has that nice, sweet, soothing voice of Billy Zane. Oh, oh, oh man, I I I get so. Oh, man, it just, it, just, it just fills me with such tingliness, just hear, hearing the voice of, of Billy Zane from him, the soothing voice. So, like, who, 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 is, who is that, who exactly is that mysterious guy, the, 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 this mysterious Billy Zane guy, just, just who is he? He's so mysterious, he has such an aura about him that, like, that we, we, that we should know more about him. Like, you know, could he be, uh, is he, is he a friend of all? Definitely a foe there. I mean, he could be, uh, you never know, he could be, could be a main antagonist or something like that, for all we know. And, uh, we'll already see more about that much, much later. So, I want to, uh, want to know more about that. <laughs> eh, yeah, I know, I'm, I'm kind of like going to this <laughs> kind of territory about my mom. So yeah, that's uh, that's what I had to do. Was uh, yeah, I had to just uh, kill as much heartless as I possibly could because uh, this is actually where the uh, difficulty spikes a lot more. Because well, especially the defenders, where their uh, shields they hurt, and we'll probably be encountering more of those where they will deal a lot more heavy damage. So that's actually one reason that I want to get stronger. The other reason, of course, is because you know um, I do want to get to uh, I, I want to make sure that I want to be able to get to level 50. Because um, since uh, since if you recall back in the uh, beginning of this LP that I picked the uh, I picked the Dead Knight pathway, where uh, we start by getting slower level ups, but then uh, later on we get faster level ups. Because I believe um, by the time we get to level 50, um, the uh, we'll start leveling, leveling up a lot faster. Because uh, it's, it's mainly because uh, how uh, the, the, the difficulty will spike, and so we're gonna want those uh, faster level ups in order to get like. Um, in order to be strong for all these uh, potential uh, harder uh, bugs that we had to uh, fight, or the, um, or the, uh, or, or for any boss fights, especially the super bosses. So we'll, we'll be needing that. That was the whole reason why I picked the uh, Dead Knight pathway to begin with, J just just for that. So I want to make sure to get to uh, get as close to level 50 as much as I can. Uh, we have a shortcut right here that leads uh, down to, um, excuse me, um, I got leads down to this, uh, this uh, dungeon here, and um, there was like more. Uh, why runs to kill him, a lot more of the uh, shadows that are there. Uh, you also want to be careful with this list because uh, if you actually take a look here, yeah, I, I actually just, yeah, as soon as, once you land right on that platform uh, or the list stop, uh, the game will automatically just take you there while you're while you're in the middle of fighting the Heartless. Like, even though, um, even though I can't really uh, do anything like, a, you know, either using, but not even use the pause menu or the uh, equipment menu. Oh yeah, and all, all the Heartless disappear once I got back. Uh, like, you do that, or you uh, can't really examine anything, or perform any uh, context-sensitive stuff while the, there's a Heartless Battle. The game still lets you exit areas, and so... Yeah, I just... I had playing on the platform by complete accident, while I was trying to fight those Wyverns, and, um... And so... They, uh... So the game just forced me to go and, uh... Go and take, or take another area. So, therefore, I wasn't able to kill the rest of those Wyverns, and I uh, wasn't able to, uh, finish them out, because they never respawned again. Even though, even though there's some blood. That's actually, uh, like, especially especially if I want to continue grinding for Heartless, and that's one thing about this game that, that I don't really like very much, is that, um, is that, you know, by complete accident, if you land on something, or just land on some kind of, um, programmed kind of a platform that takes you somewhere, then you, you won't be able to fight anymore with the Heartless because of it, then, um, you wouldn't, um, well, we actually have to go there anyway. Well, yeah, all it does is that it just, uh, spawns more of the, um, MP balls, or the MP, MP orbs, rather. Um, uh, yeah, because of the because of how programmed it was, and um, then it wouldn't let me finish off the heartless battle. So that's experience I miss. Although I guess the other heartless down there would probably make up for that. So what we just saw in the cutscene was that um, you know it's it's very weird how uh, you know Rigu was very jealous of Sora beforehand. How um, how he has the uh, Keyblade and so Riku doesn't, and then. Um, and then you know now he now he's uh, complaining about how um, about about how uh, the Keyblade is supposed to be his, but um, but but the Keyblade came back to Sora. So yeah, that's uh, contradictory there or something. I don't know. Either way, he's just being a jealous asshole and all that, just all, all, throwing all these hissy fits over um, 
over any of those wrong decisions or accusing Sora of uh, potentially replacing him, which really wasn't his intention at all. Um, and so, yeah, we saw the cutscenes that this uh, mysterious, uh, the mysterious Billy Zane uh, went and um, basically possessed him. Yeah, that's what he did. He actually uh, possessed Riku, is what it is, by just uh, having him, uh, having a, ha having him given to the darkness in his heart. So, uh, so yeah, I guess uh, we'll just uh, probably uh, see what happens afterwards. I, I gotta say though, like you know, Riku has been uh, going on about how. Um, you know, with all these uh, questionable decisions about, like, you know, trusting the villains, or the, the Disney villains, and, um, and actually uh, giving Sora so much shit, and, you know, his motivation for that is all for the sake of, um, of, uh, bringing Kyrie's heart back, and, you know, honestly, though, I mean, just, just, just wait, she's, like, if she, she would ever, uh, come back in, like, uh, in some way, or, like, uh, he actually managed to find a way, but would Kyrie ever accept that at all? Because, like, you know, she would just, she would potentially find out about how he's been giving Sora so much shit, and actually, um, and for uh, all the wrong, all the wrong reasons, and trusting all that, and you know, and, 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 I, I wouldn't, I definitely wouldn't think that Kyrie would ever accept all that for, uh, for, for, for what he did, because of all that, and so, um, and so she would see how much of an asshole Riku was being, and so, uh, she would probably just potentially cut ties with him because of that, because, you know, because Riku didn't ever really stop to think about about all this, about, you know, um, or you're even uh, as sore or anything, like, uh, like, it's really true. He just goes on and, and trusts the, uh, and, and just trusts the villains and all that, and just to uh, think that, that Sora's abandoned him and all that. And so, um, so he doesn't, he doesn't even stop to, stop to think of any consequences for his actions, for all that. And so, uh, like, he just, he doesn't really put two and two together, like, you know, with Sora probably wouldn't accept, or even, or even Kyrie wouldn't accept it either. For uh, for those kind of methods that Riku was uh, was doing, because like I definitely wouldn't wouldn't think that either. Now of course considering uh, later games, then of course uh, he would be um, he'd be uh, forgiven for that, and so he he actually does a lot better in, uh, in later games after uh, he realizes those. But well of course uh, we we're, we're not really seeing that right now though, because like we're still in uh, this game, like we're still basically in the <laughs> in the first game right about now. It's where like he, you know back when uh, he was being a an asshole for no good reason. So, uh, yeah, well, let's just, uh, stick through this game and just, uh, we're, we're, we're gonna see how this, uh, plays out in a little bit. And then we'll probably just, uh, see more about that in those, uh, once we get to those, uh, later games. Uh, yeah, this, um, I do apologize if, uh, if I'm actually kind of, uh, dragging on a bit. Like, you know, this, uh, I, I mean, for one thing, the video is, uh, about 20 minutes long. Well, you know, which might be, uh, considered some kind of a normal episode length. I mean, I know many TV shows, uh, would have, um... We got a 20 minute long episode. And there it is, uh, Dalmatians. Yeah, I had to go over there because that's where you'll find the, uh, those Dalmatian puppies. So you want to make sure to get those if you ever want to grab, uh, all of them. But, um... But yeah, alright. Oh, oh, I do, I do apologize if I, uh, seem to be taking my time because, uh, you know, it's... You know, with Hollow Bastion being one of the, uh, one of the largest, if not the largest worlds in the game. And there will be, that means there will be a lot of goodies to collect, so yeah, because of that, I know this, uh, I know I'm actually kind of, uh, just taking my time and not really doing much, uh, proc, proc progression, because, um, I'm basically, I'm, what I'm doing, I'm basically just, uh, going around and, uh, checking each area for chests and for any other collectibles or any, uh, goodies, because, you know, um, because, you know, you know, that's, that, that's the thing with this, uh, Let's Play, like I've been saying, is that, you know, um, I mean, I mean, it may not be so much of a guarantee to be an actual 100% or uh, completion run, but, you know, but I'm still basically doing, like, you know, well, almost completion run anyway, because, you know, I'm still getting uh, every single one of the Trinities, all the Dalmatians, and, um, all the Torn Pages, and all the, um, answer reports, and, uh, all the stuff like that, basically any of the, uh, any of those major things, uh, to, uh, to get there. And, of course, uh, basically, just, like, I know there's, uh, charger chests around, so, like, when I see those, I would just, uh, make note of just, um, going to each of those areas, and then, um, and then grabbing those chests to get those goodies, so... Yeah, like I said, I mean, I'm not exactly guarantee. I'm not, I'm not exactly just gonna guarantee that um, that we'll be getting every single one of the chests, but you know, just basically any, any of the ones I find. But also to make sure you get all the other stuff to um, for that. So yeah, so it, so that's why uh, you know, for the sake of this uh, let's play, that it's uh, definitely gonna be a um, that, that that like like I was saying, it's definitely a uh, mostly um, uh, mostly a completion run. So, yeah, because of that, I do apologize if, uh, it's just dragging along, but, you know, it's just, it, it's just, you know, just having to make sure that I, um, 
they, they would like to just uh, get everything that there is. And, you know, Hollow Bastion is probably the biggest case for this because of how, because uh, how huge the world is, and there's, um, lots of stuff to collect, lots of goodies as well, so that's, uh, why it's, it's, uh, it, it is taking a long time for me to, to do any more, um, plot progression. We just, uh, see, you know, stuff going on, like, you know, the stakes are being raised at the moment. And so I know you guys want to see more of that, but, you know, I mean, we're, we're, we're getting there. It's just, you know, it, it, it's just a matter of having to collect everything because, you know, you know, that's just, just the sake of this let's play and just uh, show some things off. Uh, so we're doing this uh, long uh, platform uh, right here, and then, uh, it, it, and yeah, it just stops in the middle because um, cause the game decides you want to fight more Harless, so they still so just spawn uh, some more uh, wizards. And after that, then so you just uh, tap or touch that crystal, and then you'll be able to um, continue further. Uh, I gotta say though, uh, some other stuff that I never uh, talked about the wizards. Th th this is another thing I also, I also really hate about the the wizards, you know, along with the oh oh yeah this blue training. This this is actually the uh, last blue training we're going for. I, I thought it was gonna be the one, but uh, but I forgot about this one right there. Yeah, th this is actually the last uh, blue training that we're gonna be uh that we're gonna be using. But yeah, the, the wizards here I definitely hate having to deal with because because uh, here's what they do is that. They not only do they teleport a lot, or um, like like teleport from place to place, or they uh, they disappear for a second and then they uh, they come back. But also uh, when they cast their uh, Thunder Magic, they are completely invincible against your uh, Keyblade attacks. You can't do jack shit against them while they're while they're doing their animation, performing the uh, the Thunder Magic. And I I hate I hate that about the wizards. It's so annoying when they do that. Cause um cause I want to hurry and uh, and and destroy them but but you know they would they would just do that animation so for some reason they made the keyblade completely immune to those attacks while they're doing the thunder magic and it just kind of like and it, and it kind of like goes on for a little bit and it just it just tends to drag and i i hate that about having to deal with those deal with those wizards it, it's just it's it's definitely one of one of the those kinds of heartless i i hate having to um i hate having to fight because of it but yeah, I mean, like, that's that's kind of thing with the uh, Hollow Bastion, you know, just a bunch of uh, annoying heartless to deal with. I mean, you know, I I, I do like this world. It's I, I feel it's a I feel it's a pretty fun world to go through, you know, with all how with a challenge that it provides, you know, something to appreciate. Yeah, see, that that's that's what I mean. While it's doing the that thunder magic, you can't really do anything about it. Yeah, and then they uh, teleport like that there. But yeah, I mean, I, I do enjoy Hollow Bastion for the challenge it provides, and uh, you know how. Um, you know, just uh, doing this uh, pretty satisfying uh, puzzle element, and, and you know, at least it gives you a lot of XP. But you know, the, the heartless are just so annoying. Just, just having to deal with them, and especially the ones like the uh, defenders, where they, um, where they would just hurt the most. I mean, you know, they, they, they probably wouldn't be too bad. I mean, you just have to go around to uh, the, um, the main uh, wielder of that, uh, that shield, and then just, uh, and then just tag them like that. But of course, and, but, but aside from that, they uh, they they do hurt a lot, especially with their um, especially with their uh, wolf-like shields that they carry. All right, so we got the uh, Thundara ring, which we already have, though. Um, oh, guess what, folks? Ladies and gentlemen, look what Goofy just learned. MP gift. MP gift. Yes, Goofy. <laughs> Goofy, I love you so much. <laughs> Goofy, you did it. He's he's learned without one of the best. Aside from evolution, yeah, it was he was already awesome to actually learn evolution. What that does is that I think I think he uh, he actually uh, sacrifices uh, some of his uh, MP to heal HP for the entire the party members or um, or for the uh, or for Sora. I, I I think one of those two. But I, but I know that's basically what he does. Ah uh, yes, Goofy! Oh you you beautiful you beautiful bastard you! Oh I love you. Oh, oh, you finally made it. Oh, this is where we actually just learned the, the, the best thing you could ever do. Just learning MP gift. Oh, oh Goofy. Oh, oh. You know what? I forgive you for, for uh, you know, I, I can look past you, you, you at Ditching Sword for, uh, to follow the Keyblade. I mean, at least you do decide that, um, that the sword is way more important than uh, having to follow, um, uh, follow uh, King Mickey's orders. So I mean that that can be forgiven that aspect, but now you learning MP gift, one of the best abilities you could ever you could ever learn. Uh, now I forgive you even more for this. Uh, goofy, you sweet, beautiful son of a bitch, you. Ah <laughs> oh, yes, yes. 
Ah, oh, man. I mean, I, di I didn't see the notification. I was like, I probably could have gotten a proper reaction for it, but, you know, I just... That, 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 that was where I could have just uh, seen there, just, you know, with with Goofy finally learning a big gift. Oh, yes. That and Evolution. Yeah, Evolution is actually a, um, an ability introduced that will brought over to uh, Final Mix, which is also an, an amazing ability that Goofy could ever have. So, like, he's learned two of the best abilities. I mean... Yeah, because he, he can only learn MP Gift and Vanilla Gage one. But now, learning Evolution and MP Gift. And, you know, since I uh, didn't have much abilities for Goofy and Toolkit, I went ahead and just equipped, uh, equipped the MP Gift right then and there. Just for that. So, like, yeah, Final Mix is where he um, he learns uh, two of those best abilities. And, ah, uh, he's so much more amazing in Final Mix. So, oh, oh. Goofy, I could learn a, learn a lot from you. Like, like honestly. Anyway, so, uh, so after that, uh, that was the same ramblings there, um, so I think we're just about, uh, yeah, there, there's actually another puzzle where we had to attach a crystal and then this, uh, one platform will start, um, descending downwards. Now, um, there's one stupid thing that I actually did and I, uh, never even knew about it or, like, there was some way to go about it. Um, there's a, there was supposed to be something if you, uh, jump down and then glide over and go through that door there to the lift top. I thought there was gonna be something there, but then once I came over there... There was a oh oh you know what uh there was a chest there I didn't even see that when I was when I was playing in it so uh now I saw it just now I uh, I didn't even see where I was recording this footage and now I left and I didn't even get the get the chest God damn it well I guess that's that then I I, I can't do this I left the chest and I'm stupid so I'm going to go.